It's wild to think that the United Kingdom once had the largest empire in history. They have a constitutional monarchy, which includes a parliament and a king and queen. Right. I've even felt the British influence. You know, the Beatles, Shakespeare. So, Carmen San Diego was maybe seen around here? Uh, that's hard to imagine with all this fog. It's kind of creepy. I know what you mean, Hawkins. The fact that there have been many strange disappearances of lighthouse keepers through the years doesn't help any. What do you mean, strange disappearances? Oh, yeah. One of the strangest was at the Flannan Isle Lighthouse, where in 1900, three lighthouse keepers disappeared without a trace. Well, with the hundreds of lighthouses around the coast of the United Kingdom, I'm sure there are plenty of weird stories to go around. Let's just keep our minds on the job and then get out of here. Did you know that the earliest lighthouses were simply towers on top of which beacon fires were burned? Surprise! And how are my two not-so-secret agents doing? Well, it's been fun so far, at least for me. But I'm afraid you really missed the boat back at the Alhambra. The secret was right there. Oh well, gotta run. <laughs> Catch me if you can. What? She's gone! Where'd she go? You should have checked the colors on the shield. Too late now. You won't get anywhere without this. Oh no, it's gone. Not if I can help it. Well, she's gone, but good work snagging the key, Hawkins. We may have ended up with just what we needed. That's me, Agent First Class Shadow Hawkins, always ready. But the link between Carmen San Diego and the Explorer's treasure, you're the one who... Agents, this is urgent. I need you to find out what that key is for. Now get to it before Carmen San Diego finds the treasure first. Sure thing, Chief. Looks like we need to travel to that villa near the Alhambra. Let's go. Maybe we'll get to see some flamenco dancers. That kind of dancing comes from Seville and Cadiz. You know I'm a big fan of folk dancing, all types. But I think we better keep a low profile in Spain. You never know who's watching. You don't like to attract attention? I'm a secret agent. I'm not supposed to attract attention. The Explorer's Villa again. The Chief said she'll notify us here in Spain if any vile activity is detected. We better check this place out real thoroughly while we can. You're right, Hawkins. I have a feeling this place has more to tell us. I wonder if Carmen's key fits the lock. Yeah! Now we're getting somewhere! Look at what's on the underside of the lid. We should check it out carefully. Whoa! That's a lot to take in. Are you keeping good notes? I'm glad one of us is. There are some interesting clues here that I'll note in my journal. They'll be there in case we need them later. It's the Explorer's coat of arms, the emblem of his family line. And the symbol again. Look, the wheel. And pictures of all the objects Carmen's stolen. And we've recovered. Hmm. Those flecks of paint suggest that this used to be colored. Hawkins, you're actually right. Carmen told us we should have checked the colors. And I know just the tool for the job. An Acme Photon Frequency Analyzer. Let's check with the Chief. I'm on it already, agents. There's an analyzer being field tested in our headquarters south of the border. Go get it. But make sure you aren't spotted by any vile operatives. This case is really heating up, and Carmen San Diego can't be too happy that you've trailed her this far. Chief out.
Did you know that the longest river in Mexico is the Rio Grande, which runs along part of the border between the United States and Mexico? Yeah, but don't they call it a different name south of the border? Uh-huh. They call it the Rio Bravo. That mountain over there is Popocatapetl, isn't it? Uh-huh. The volcano whose name means Smoking Mountain. Didn't anybody ever tell it it's not healthy to smoke? I think when you're that big, you can pretty much do anything you want. That's the way Carmen thinks, too. Thinks no one can dampen her big plans. But we're about to throw a little water on her fire. Acme's Mexican headquarters. The seasoned agent casually wraps out his famous secret knock. I love this part. For me? Just what I always wanted, an honest-to-goodness photon frequency analyzer. I'm keeping this. Just the thing for analyzing old stuff for paint remnants. And the perfect gift for the agent who has everything. It actually distinguishes wavelengths reflected off a surface. That's right. That's how our eyes see color. Cool, huh? Physics 101. It's hard being a secret agent in Spain. How so? You want to fit in, so you try to adopt the local customs, like taking a siesta in the afternoon. It's a great custom, but it's kind of hard to catch international criminals and still take a nap in the middle of the day. Hey, maybe we can catch some bullfighting while we're here in Spain. Well, if we're going to catch anything besides Carmen here, I'd like to catch a bus to Madrid or Barcelona and see the art of Salvador Dali and Picasso. Yeah! Now we're getting somewhere! Look at what's on the underside of the lid. We should check it out carefully. Okay, I'll analyze it. It'll only take a second. Bingo! A complete readout. We can tell exactly how this looked when it was painted. Every section was a different color. That has got to be significant somehow. It's worth noting in my journal anyway. I wonder if there's anything else in this villa that may help us figure out where to go next. Hmm. I wonder where this place is. Look at all those vineyards. Why don't you check your database for vineyards? Good idea. If this was the explorer's villa, it must have been someplace important to him. I love France. My family and I used to vacation here. I visited the Pyrenees Mountains on the border of France and Spain. Those were great times. You really roughed it as a kid, huh? Didn't even get to see Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in the Alps, or fish from a fishing village on Brittany's rocky coast to the north. Wait, I'm getting a very high reading from my sarcasm detector. Not from me. Well, chasing Carmen after this lost treasure has sure led us to some beautiful spots. Just look at those ruins down there. Yep, I love the castles here in France. Chapeau. Chapeau are hats, you goof. Chateau are castles. Huh, maybe that's why that guy I talked to earlier was looking at me strangely. I guess I told him we were looking for some vineyards near a ruined hat. The Bordeaux region of France is known for its vineyards. Bordeaux grapes produce some of the world's most famous wines. You know what my favorite wine is? Yep. I'm hungry. Very funny. The French word chateau can refer to a castle or a large country house. Many chateaux have a lot of land, often used as vineyards. Okay, I got it. Chapeau hat. Chateau castle. Did you know that only about one-fourth of the French people live in rural areas like that farming village? Well, I wouldn't mind. After all this world travel, it looks kind of peaceful. It's the explorer's tomb. Look, there are his initials from the parchment. Wow, his final resting place. 
I feel kind of sad, almost like I knew him. But there's got to be something more to this, something else to solve this puzzle. You may be right. It looks like something's missing from the stone there, those empty slots. The date on the bridge matches the one in the explorer's parchment. And look at what was behind it. What do you suppose all these mean? Their shapes look familiar. The parchment stated that we'll need them to unlock the secret. You can bet they're not just a random collection of stones. And they do have familiar shapes, don't they? What was it that parchment said? Another vile message capsule, and left out in plain sight, too. Strange. Hmm. And the second largest country, huh? I think I know where we can find that out. And near where the wolf howls. I know we've seen a wolf somewhere, but where? So I guess we're off to the capital of Canada. Actually, we're going to Quebec. Ottawa is the capital. I knew that. Just testing. It's easy to understand how Quebec would have been such a strategic place to build a city. Oh, I know. Right where the St. Lawrence and the St. Charles Rivers meet. Not to mention Cap Diamant, the perfect place for a fort. Vile agents must use this area as a drop-off point. And boy, did we find something here. It's some kind of codebook on the seven continents and their sizes. Look! There's a clue about where to use it. Whoever left this by the phone made a big mistake. They may come looking for it soon. I'm going to make a quick note in my journal, but we better not hang around too long. Acme headquarters in Quebec. They took over the old carousel warehouse where we found the fish gong. Probably got this piece of real estate real cheap. Have you ever been to Versailles? May we? Oui. Wasn't that created by King Louis XIV who decided to move his capital a little ways outside of Paris? Can you believe the place has 1,300 rooms? Those royal games of hide and seek must have really been something. I love the smell of the vineyards here. Did you know that the Romans introduced grape growing here centuries ago? There are vineyards all over the regions of Bordeaux, Burgundy, Champagne. Sorry, no time to stop now. We're on a case, remember? Oh well, never mind then. Who knows how long Carmen knew about this explorer. He must have been extraordinary. He certainly hid his treasure well. But I think we've got everything we need here. Let's figure this thing out. We're getting really close to solving this whole mystery. Okay, now this is officially creepy. Look at that brass inscription. That's not a language I've ever seen. We need to make a rubbing of it so we can take it someplace to figure out. Let's do it quickly. Maybe it's just me, but this place is really spooky. And Carmen San Diego keeps boasting about how she's always watching us. Right on. We should have the chief call ahead to my professor friend in Greece. He was a big help before. Professor Lonsdale? Will do. Hear that, Chief? I'm here. Good work, you two. I'll send him a fax of the rubbing immediately. You had better get over there as soon as possible, but try not to be tailed by vile agents. The professor is really paranoid he's being watched.
art, theater, history, architecture, you name it. And the Greeks are also known for folk dancing, too. I'd like to join them, but we have a case to solve. Places to go and people to see. I'd still hope that we can find some time to relax. After we catch Carmen San Diego. You'll probably be psyched about the food here in Greece. You sure? You know how. No, seriously, Hawkins. There's dolmathis, which are grape leaves filled with meat. Musaki, which is layered eggplant and meat. Suvlaki, which is skewered meat. They cook with a lot of olive oil. Whatever. I just hear the word food and I'm reassured. Now let's see if the professor is home. A note from the professor. I hope he's okay. He still seems worried. Carmen San Diego must intimidate him quite a bit. The Nabataeans? We need to figure out which country they came from if we're going to beat Carmen San Diego to the treasure. Know what? You'll probably like Jordanian food, actually. There's mahasi, which is stuffed vegetables. Hmm. Well, that does sound pretty tasty. And mansef, which is rice covered with chunks of stewed lamb and yogurt sauce. Musakin, which is chicken with onions, olive oil, pine seeds, and seasonings. That sounds promising, too. Hey, isn't that the Dead Sea down there? We must be flying over the border between Israel and Jordan. Did you know that the Dead Sea is the saltiest body of water in the world? Nine times saltier than the ocean. What a wild place! I actually agree. The fabulous buildings at Petra were begun by the Nabataeans, an early Arab tribe, in the 5th century BC. Long time ago. I've been thinking too about Carmen's background. She's earned several degrees in archaeology from prestigious universities. And I know she spent a lot of time here at Petra. We may be on to something. The Romans conquered Petra in 106 AD and made it a part of their empire. Those Romans sure got around. Well, at least around the Mediterranean Sea and Western Europe. There's a lot of sand in Jordan. Only about 3% of the land is used for farming. The mountains around Petra contrast with other areas in Jordan, like the Syrian Desert and the Jordan River Valley. The magnificence of the buildings here reflect Petra's importance as a trading center more than 2,200 years ago. Yeah, it prospered because it was situated on the trade route from Arabia to the Mediterranean. That's Aaron's Mountain and the shrine at its peak a site of great spiritual significance to people of this area. Do you see what I see above the door? We should check this out. Oh no! What happened here? The mosaic's broken, but it doesn't look like we have all the pieces to fix it. Maybe Carmen San Diego made off with them. She could have hidden them anywhere. An archaeologist brush. And it's got a name on it. Sounds Spanish to me. We should keep this. You never know where a clue may be found. Hey, Hawkins, we'll make an ace detective of you yet. You like Mexican folk music? Corridos? Folk songs? Or rhythmic mariachi music? You know, played by bands of trumpeters, guitarists, violinists, and singers? No offense, but I like country and western music best. Lately, though, I've started listening to synthesized music, too. You know, the kind made by computers. That figures. I have to say that I really enjoy being in Mexico for their big fiestas. What are their big holidays, anyway? Let's see. There's Navidad, that's Christmas, and Three Kings Day on January 6th, a day for giving gifts, especially to children, and Independence Day on September 16th. I think it is the Day of the Dead when people visit family graves at the beginning of November. To name a few. Small restaurants like that are called fondas. 
They serve popular Mexican food like tortillas, which are pancakes cooked on a griddle, and tacos, which are filled tortillas, and of course, beans and rice. I've always wanted to have a piñata on my birthday. I'm a sucker for candy. <laughs> Get it? I think you should ask for a new joke book instead. Next time you eat an avocado, think of Mexico. It's an indigenous plant from this area. Don't forget chocolate. Cacao beans were harvested by the Mayans and Aztecs. You're right. Where would we be without chocolate? Soccer seems to be popular the world over. It's one of the missing pieces from the mosaic. Buenos dias, amigos. You were commenting on the broken piece? It is from an ancient mosaic I found. In Jordan, actually. Four pieces I brought back with me for analyzing, you see. Someday I hope to put the whole thing back together. We are Acme agents on official business. We need those pieces. I realize this is a little unusual, but, well, we guarantee their safety. I do not doubt, but there's a little problem. I sent one of the pieces to a colleague. He is staying at the Chateau Frontenac. The other two pieces, though, I am sad to tell you, were stolen last night. Stolen? How interesting. But don't worry. We're experts at finding stolen items. Will you call your friend and tell him to leave the piece at the Acme headquarters near the hotel? It's in the abandoned carnival warehouse in the lower town. Consider it done, amigos. I will give you this piece and wish you luck. Did you know Mexico is the world's leading supplier of silver? I did know that. I have some beautiful Mexican silver jewelry. I love the wall murals you often see in Mexico. They show traces of the ancient Mayan and Aztec cultures. Now that is a big bullring. Well, look what was hidden in this wall. We're definitely keeping this. A mosaic piece. It's possible Carmen hid it. She must have been in a hurry, though. Maybe we're closer than we thought. Hey, Dirt. We'll hang on to this. What do you think, Chief? Good job, agents. You're really making progress on this case. Keep up the good work, and... Well, well, Jules. I suppose you and your new pal think you're pretty smart. You may have uncovered some secrets, but the biggest one is still hidden. Why don't you just give it up? You'll never catch me. Ugh! Carmen San Diego again. The sooner she's captured, the better. Anyhow, as I was saying, I think you're on to something big here, but watch out. If you're getting close, Carmen San Diego's bound to try to stop you. Once, when I was a kid, we sailed across Lake Superior from the U.S. side to the Canadian. That's a big lake. Biggest lake in the world. Biggest freshwater lake, that is. There's something naturally exciting about Quebec, as if this place was important even before the city was built here. I know what you mean. The Algonquian Indians fished, farmed, and hunted in this area before anyone else ever saw it. Sometimes I wish we could go back in time to see how it really was. Acme has put that old carousel warehouse to good use as their new headquarters here in Canada. I hope someone's home. These guys are great. They do so much more than just deliver cool gadgets. You know, last time we were here, I thought I might have to wear the traditional kafia on my head. You know, to go undercover. Isn't that kind of a loose folded headscarf? Often held in place by a decorative cord? Actually, most people here wear western style dress. One of these times, we'll have to visit Jordan's capital, Amman. I'll second that. If I remember correctly, Amman used to be called Philadelphia back in about 60 BC, when it was a Roman trading center. Some of the craft workers there make amazing things. Coffee pots, jewelry, 
Islamic prayer beads, cross-stitch embroidery, and Arabic calligraphy. Cool! It looks like we've got all the missing pieces. Let's get to work. I have a feeling this is going to tell us something big. I can't believe it! It's the map to the lost city, I'm sure of it! The wheel design must mark the location of the treasure. We can't be far from finding it now. I just hope Carmen doesn't find it first. Can you get an image of the map? No problemo. I'll put it in my clue storage. We'll need it, that's for sure. We need to find this city. Chief, can you send us a chopper? There's one on the way. Awesome. Well, nice work, Jules. You too, rookie, but... You both deserve congratulations, but stay focused, agents. I don't need to remind you that Carmen San Diego is slippery, and she's bound to be somewhere close. Keep your wits about you. The helicopter will be there in minutes. Chief out. Finally! The opportunity I trained so long for! I'm ready to find the treasure and catch a master criminal! Hold on, Shadow. I'm eager too. But something tells me this may not be so easy. The computer's analyzed the map and has plotted our course. Do you see anything? I think I can see it on the scanner. Yep, we're right over the city. Looks like a big place. We better fire a marker beacon from the correct grid coordinate on the scanner. That'll mark the entrance for us. Wait a minute. The city. I it's in ruins. Did you expect a bustling metropolis? Not exactly, but we may have a problem. The map is clear enough. Look, the wheel symbol must mark the entrance. But how can we find the correct grid coordinate on the scanner? Like this. We'll use the map and compare landmarks on the scanner. Then, select the grid square that matches the entrance on the map. Maybe we're holding the map the wrong way. If we imagined it in another orientation, it might line up with the picture. Wow! There it is! You were right all along, Jules! Carmen San Diego's trail led to something much bigger than I ever imagined. And look! Now we know where the gems are. But we're not done yet, Hawkins. We still need to figure out a way to open this door. Okay, let's do it! Would you look at that? <gasps> Carmen San Diego! Surprised, Mr. Hawkins? Of course you knew I was watching your every move, or you should have known. So this is what you were after. A world treasure of knowledge, the history of civilization. But this belongs in a museum where everyone can benefit. You're depriving the world of... Not to mention the fact that you've broken the law in just about every time zone. Carmen, what's happened to you? You used to want to make the world a better place. That always amused me about two jewels. Still a little frustrated that you can't figure me out? So now that we're here, what do you plan to do with us? Oh, I don't know. Lock you away somewhere where you'll never be found? Come on, Carmen. That's not your style. Why are we wasting time talking? The way I see it, we've captured you. Really? How? Like this. How dare you? Great job, Hawkins. I finally did it. 
Wait till the other agents hear about this. Sorry to ruin your fun. Go ahead, put all this in a museum. But you'll never keep me behind bars. Thanks for the thrill of the chase. I'll see you around, I'm sure. <laughs> Wait, look out! I can't believe it! I had her! How could she have escaped? Wait till the other agents hear about this. Sorry, I didn't mean it to sound like that. But seriously, Shadow, I wonder if she planned it this way all along. What do you mean? You don't know Carmen like I do. I wasn't kidding when I said she wasn't always the way she seems to be now. Maybe there's still some good in her. Maybe she masterminded these thefts so the whole world could benefit. Jules Hawkins, just heard you've captured Carmen San Diego. Well, almost. I'll look forward to reading your final report. So, it sounds like Carmen San Diego got away. Again. I still think Carmen San Diego is a bad apple, rotten to the core. Perhaps we'll never know, but something tells me that this isn't the last we've seen of Carmen San Diego. Well, I'm ready for another chance to catch her. Well, sure, but Jules, Hawkins, hold on. I'm just getting word. Something big. It's got to be. Well, Hawkins, you may get your chance sooner than you thought. Well, what are we standing around here for? Let's go!